What's up guys, and I am doing the Q&A video today, so let me get out my phone. So, <laughs> I'm sorry I've held this video up for two weeks. I've been wanting to do other videos, and yeah, I'm sorry about that. So, it's been two weeks, and um, I'm finally videoing it, but everyone should have but now ask their questions so i gave it a while for people to um ask the questions they wanted to and there is some questions in here that is just repeated over and over again i'm only going to answer it one time so sorry if you're not included i'm just not going to answer the same questions so first question from Oh yeah, sorry if I get y'all's names wrong. I'm really sorry about that. So, Richard Bolt says, The rebel flag in your room is it's not politically correct to fly anymore. Our country has gone soft, I might add, and then a period. What the rebel flag resents to you? The rebel flag is not racist. A lot of y'all think it is racist, but it's not. It's the flag they flew. They flew in the war. So I don't know why y'all think that. It's pretty stupid, but that's y'all's feeling of it. Even though y'all are incorrect. So the rebel flag has every right to be flying. It says, then he says, and what are your feelings on the same sex marriage? I don't think that should be allowed for people for the same sex to get married. I don't think, I don't think people should be, I don't think the same sex should be dating each other. I know some of y'all are going to get mad at me or if y'all are gay or lesbian or whatever but I don't think that should be anything cause that is a sin to God and that's not a good thing cause you're sinning so I don't think it should be a thing but it's just the world we live in so then Noah Blake Noah Blake says are you getting new rims for the honda 300 no i'm not getting new rims i don't want no new rims if i got new tires maybe probably but no uh e l i j a h 116 asked i don't know how you pronounce that sorry but what is your favorite sports car my favorite sports car is uh um corvette stingray not the older one the new one like 2016 matt palmer asked do you plan on getting a bigger and four times four fuller yes when i get a job <laughs> i probably will end up buying another fuller through my childhood no because I cannot afford one right now. And I'm fine with the one I have. I would like a better one. But I don't have the money. <laughs> so. Tandy. Says Snake. I don't know y'all. <laughs> says. What is your dream bike and why? Well. My dream bike is uh yamaha all right well i don't really have a dream bike but um if i'm going to get back to riding in when it gets colder because it is too hot in georgia to be riding right now but um i'm getting i'm going to be riding and probably back racing in when it gets colder because it's really way too hot and 
if I continue with wanting to drive, I meant race or ride, then I'll end up getting a 2015 um, Yamaha 250F or YZ250F. And I don't know if I want a blue one or that white and red one. So, that's, I guess that you can say that's my dream bike. I don't want a 450. So, Rebel Boy asks, are you going to get a 4 x 4 8 <laughs> Later on. Sorry, I didn't. I need to read these before I say it. Alright. Dylan Product. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. What got you into dirt bikes? Um. Well, what got me into dirt bikes was Brooks had a dirt bike first. No, Nathan had a dirt bike first, which was a 50, but he didn't really ride it. So, really, Brooks got a dirt bike first. And, um, yeah, he, then Nathan got one, and then I got one. I think that's how it went. And that's what got me into riding, because I wanted to ride with them. So, yeah. And then he asked, and what got you into scooters? What got me into scooters is, um... Well, I was riding, I've been riding for a long time, but not like where I would consider it a sport. Like, I've been riding razors and crap like that. But now, like, what got me into pro scooters is Tanner Fox, um, Caper and Funk, and Corey Funk. Because, um, I watched their videos and I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to, um... I wanted to get good like that, and I'm still riding, and I'm getting better, so, um, yeah, Dwayne Jennings, I think that's how you pronounce it, says, why don't you ride the YZA5 anymore, and I sent you a kick, okay, um, I don't ride because, like I said earlier, it's really too hot to be riding, right now in the summer and I like I was gonna go CKB like a week ago and then I woke up really late and I woke up at like two o'clock went outside it was burning up it's like a hundred degrees down here y'all it's too hot to be in a suit and riding that crap riding in that crap so that same dude like E L I J A H 116 asks, "Was your Honda Dream four wheeler?" Mm, probably a 2013 Honda Rancher 420 because I rather I like their fullers because you can like make them things like really good for motor riding or either 2016 I don't know I don't care or 2017 I really don't care but I like the 2013 how the plastic is better but yeah <laughs> um shorty too tall <laughs> ask are you a rebel uh I don't know if you would consider me a rebel or not. Like, I do stupid things sometimes. They get me in trouble. So I guess, I don't know. <laughs> um, 3D products asked. And also, what do you use to video on YouTube, on YouTube videos? Um, my camera is a Canon, let me see it, <laughs> a Canon SX400IS, wait, no, one second, y'all, yeah, IS, I believe, um, yeah, 
that's my camera. Um, I'm planning on upgrading soon, so it's like not this camera I'm using is not even like a hundred dollars. Or I looked on their website, it's not, but plan on upgrading soon. And then it says, what software do you use to edit videos? I uh, mainly use Windows Live Movie Maker because it's not as complicated. Complicated? <laughs> complicated. Wait, oh my gosh. It's not compli- <laughs> Alright, whatever. You know what I mean. But it's not like... Complicated. It is Sony Vegas or all them other, like, pro editing software so I use that to do like my main videos but um I just started making reaction videos and I use I use Sony Vegas for that so yep Diego White I guess ask what would you be what would be the top price you'd pay for a dirt bike Whatever, or however much a 450 is. <laughs> so, Master Snorkel Man. <laughs> As, do you have any plans for your fuller? Um, kind of. Um, right now, I just traded Nathan some lights for his underglows. So I'm putting on underglows on the fuller and then I wanna buy a LED um light pole. So yeah. That's my plans and he says and who is your favorite walking dead character? Um probably name I forgot <laughs> um Rick Grimes yeah that's my favorite one and Rick Grimes and then my second one's Carl so yeah Alex Shady asks what's your favorite dirt bike or four wheeler alright y'all this Kid, every time I do a Q&A, he asks me to say a word, a different word, every single time. And I don't know why, but every single time, I do not say it. I gotta spell it out for y'all. Because, why does this kid want me to say that? <laughs> but, he said, what's your favorite dirt bike? My dirt, my favorite dirt bike is, yeah, uh, 2000, I don't know, well, I guess the 250, the YZ250F, even though I haven't rode one, <laughs> but my friend said he would let me ride his, um, or Fuller, my favorite Fuller. It's probably the 2016 Can-Am Renegade 1000R. That's probably my favorite. The one with like the silver backs and blue and <laughs> that sn weird snorkel thing. I posted it on Instagram. But he's a and can you say S M A S H a and then space a space w a t e r m e l o n i'm not saying that because i don't know what why you want me to <laughs> but whatever and then tucker god is not god is i guess Ask, are you going to make a AT video on the 4th? Alright, the 4th is already passed, and no, I did not. <laughs> Nathan asks, Nathan Higdon324 asks, why don't you ride the YZ anymore? JK. <laughs> I already told y'all that. 
And sorry I like asked that again, but I wanted to add him in the QA. <laughs> Alright, Porter Smith ask when are you going to do more dirt bike videos when it gets colder? Or yeah, that was my answer when you, when it gets colder. Darkness Cube Cuber asks why is there no focus at the start? Uh so at the start of the Q and A video or where I told y'all to ask questions. I don't know why my um, camera did that, so I don't know y'all. Something like there's been some weird stuff going on with my camera. That's why I need to upgrade and also get better quality and sound and stuff. So I'm sorry about that. And George Hedrick asks, "What have you all done to your four? Um. I'm putting them underglows on it. I uh, bought a back seat for it, but I don't have that on all the time. I put a light bar, 12 inch light bar on it. And I've um, I bought a flag for it, a rebel flag. <laughs> I've spray painted it. I'm trying. I'm still having to get that stuff off. Um. <laughs> What else? Oh yeah, we fixed the brakes. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. I think. Chase is five hundred and twenty-three. As would you ever try a hair scram a hair scramble? Yes, I would. Chase retro gaming spade. Ask, what was your first dirt bike? My first dirt bike was, I forgot what year it was, I think a 2014 TTR 110. I want another one of those. <laughs> that thing's like just fun to mess around on, but I'm not about to like spend like $3,000 or $2,000 for one. So yeah. And ask, and can you do a house tour? I don't know if I want to or not really. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to. I don't think I want to. <laughs> so, probably not. Zach Throne asked, what's your dream? Okay, I already said that. I already answered that. Country Boy asked, why did you quit riding the fooler? I quit riding the fooler because my grades weren't good in school and my dad made, er, my dad said I couldn't ride it until I was passing my grades. But now it's summer and I get to ride it. <laughs> I haven't quit. I mean, I'm... I don't know why I said, why did you quit? Like, I'm not... I didn't quit. Except for when we were... Or when I was in school. Like, he just said, why did you quit riding the fuller? In the middle of the... Or, like, when you were in school or somewhere. I don't know. Alright, Rev Limiter 223 asks, what is your favorite aftermarket part? For what? Exactly. <laughs> I guess dirt bike. I don't know, really. I don't really know. And then he asks, and do you like fishing? Yes, I like fishing. When I catch stuff. <laughs> the UKE guy? Yes. What got you into YouTube? Um. What got me into YouTube is one night we were. It was me, Brooke, Nathan, and his sister in my kitchen where we eat. Or not in the kitchen, but like where we eat like our meals, my family. And we found an app on our um phones or at the moment i think we just had ipods because <laughs> we were like really little and it was an app called capture and if you go down to like the start of this channel i actually used to video off of that crap so then i just we all started uploading videos like my sister i don't think 
she uploaded any videos. She just did it. Like, she was acting like she was making videos. Like, hey guys, we're doing a makeup tutor tutorial. But they weren't really. I mean, they were. But they were really just talking to themselves. <laughs> See, I'm talking to y'all. They were talking to themselves. And me and Nathan were uploading videos. And then I made a gaming channel. And then that failed and before that I had this and then it kept on after I got my first YZ85 it grew big and that's what got my channel to where it is now so yep yeah. and then he asked who's your YouTube idol uh <laughs> well my favorite YouTuber is Mick Juggernuggets I went I don't know if I'd call him my YouTube idol. He probably, um, if you look up Funk, F U N K, Funk Bros, yeah, I think, yeah, that's their channel. If you look up them, they're Pro Scooter Riders for SMX, or SMX Pro Scooter Riders, and they ride Apex scooters and um Capron he's like Capron Funk is like really he's a positive guy and he yeah he's just a positive guy and he's like never not happy and he's like um never like what what do you call him hmm He's never depressed. So that's... He's probably my YouTube idol. Y'all need to check out their channel. And then... It's... I... <laughs> it's I Carlos, I guess. It's, I, never mind. <laughs> Alright, um... Brad Kalakley, I guess. Ask, are you going to race at Dermtown soon? Maybe when it gets colder, I don't know. Probably. Porter Smith asks, when are you going to get a new dirt bike? What kind would you get? 2015 YZ250F and when will I get one? Maybe in the middle of school year. If I'm back riding. Alright, um... S A C Kings ninety nine ask what's your dream fooler? Um I already said that <laughs> or answered that. Three D products ask can you give me a shout out and what is your dream dirt bike and why? Alright, well go check out this dude's channel <laughs> and why is that my dream dirt bike? Or or why do I want it? I wouldn't call it my dream dirt bike. I don't really have a dream dirt bike. But. I just like. Me and my dad were just like. Like we've been getting advice from people like. My dad asked him like. Should he just get a 125? Or should he just go ahead and get a 250? Everyone or most people said. Just get a 250. So that's pretty much why. So, addiction, get, <laughs> Jake, oh my gosh, I don't know. Alright, so he said, what series do you race in? I know I used to race in, um, what was it? I forgot what I was racing in. If I heard it, I would remember. Um, I forgot what I was, what I raced in, but oh my god! And right, um, Dylan Altman, something like that. Where do you live? In a house? No, I'm joking. I live in Georgia, so yeah. Nathan Higdon three two three hundred and twenty four asks 
How much do you get paid for YouTube? <laughs> um. Yeah, here's the thing. I would tell y'all, but YouTube don't want you to tell. They don't want to give away how much money you make. Or they don't want you to give away and tell people like how much money you make so I'm not going to do that because that's just their rules so I'm sorry Nathan <laughs> Tucker God is something like that I don't know yeah, so what kind of tires are on the Honda 300 23 inch for backs 23 inch wide um, mud bugs for the front 23 inch skinny mud bugs. Alright, after I play, it says, Who is your favorite YouTuber? Mick Jogger Nuggets. Alright, Nathan Higdon324 once again <laughs> asks, Can I have a shout out? No. Alright, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, go check out Nathan's channel. Um, Dylan. Ultiman ask again or something like that ask how old are you? I'm 13 I'm about to be 14 on August 30th Tucker Oh my gosh this y'all know him by now <laughs> Ask what kind of dog is Trevor? He's a border collie Action Gex 0078 Never mind that was not even a question Sundown Willies for bees. As will you ever try a, a flatland tail whip on a scooter? I'm like trying that, and I'm landing like my right foot is landing on it, but my left foot is not. So I'm working on it. <laughs> Jacob Benton as what kind of tires and rims do you want for your four wheeler? And can I have a shout out? Yes, go check out this dude's channel. <laughs> Um, the, what kind of tires? I would really like 27 inch silverbacks, um, on, oh man, I don't know what, what rims I would want. I really wouldn't care, as long as they're not real ugly. So, yeah. I need to find my rails at. I think I'm almost done. Alright, yeah. Burlington North. Alright. Sorry, people are texting me. Burlington Northern Rail Fan asks Hey, Nicholas, I've got a few questions. What should my first dirt bike be? It really depends what what money wise you're going for, what size you're going for, and what brand you're going for. Because each brand costs a different type of money and is different. So, then he says, I already have a Yamaha Cordia, I think that's how you pronounce that fully, 450 four wheeler. That's not a question. <laughs> Question two, how old are you? Thirteen. Plus, can I have a shout out? Yes, go check this guy's channel out. I know the people who are watching are not gonna check these channels out. <laughs> so I don't see the point of asking, but whatever. Honda 420 S, what brand and how many CCs for a dirt bike do you recommend for beginners? It really depends how old you are. So for 13 and how um tall you are or no really depends yeah it really depends how tall you are and how old you are or not old but what well, kind of if you're third you might want to start on a yz85 if you're um, 12, or if you're 11, and you're tall enough for one, maybe, or, and through 13 or 14, 
and 15 or no just probably 14 not 15 all right sorry guys um the camera turned off for some reason but um yeah it really depends probably 85 or 65 it really depends so yeah if you gave me uh your length and your age i could tell you <laughs> Trailblazers asks, have you ever won first at a race and how many times? A bunch of times, but yes. Let's see. One, two, two, wait, wait, wait. I have some out in the garage too, so that's three. Three, one second. Okay, so I have four first place plaques, but I've won first a lot more times. It's just like through the first round, so I didn't get a plaque for that. You only get a plaque for the second round <coughs> when you're racing. Alright, so if you ain't mixing, guys, you ain't spanking butt. <laughs> Ask what year is your dirt bike? 2006. And can you do a bike review? Yes, I can. Carter Stop asks, Are you going to get. Are you going to begin. Never mind. Yes, I'm going to begin a new dirt bike. <laughs> Most likely. Most likely if I start running. I'm not sure. I mean, my dog was barking, so I'm gonna like. like freaked out. <laughs> I'm kinda scared. <laughs> Alright, whatever. We have an alarm system, so if anyone tries breaking them, they're done for. Um. Because the police are coming straight to us. But Brandon Malure asks Q and A. Do you have a banshee for any racing ATV? Or no, I don't have any racing ATV. If y'all did, y'all would surely know. Um, B Ball Kid 04 asks, What are you? What are you planning on doing with your foiler in the future? I don't know. <laughs> Noah Newman asks, will, will you gonna, will you gonna do fishing videos? People, oh my gosh. I will do fishing videos, but I'm not. Because... <laughs> The pond we have does not have a whole lot of fish in it. Alright, um, Sam Cummings, this guy has been on my channel for a while now, so, he, he, like, he's not even asking for a shout out, but y'all seriously go check his channel out, it's awesome. Or this dude is awesome, and he does have videos, and, like, his enduro track, so it is pretty cool. And he is a dirt bike rider, so. He yeah, asks, so when are you going to do a video on the YZ85 riding? I might do a video soon of me just riding around the trails and stuff, but yeah. Um. Then. A guy. Call, or someone asks, the typical sniper says, have you ever been badly bullied? Yes, I have. Um, when I used to go to private school, every time when we all went 
or about to go home and we were waiting on our car it's like a whole bunch of or it was like a group who was just sitting there like bullying me and crap but I really just ignored them so yeah um throughout middle school I've been bullied and yeah <laughs> I've been bullied on YouTube so yeah I've been bullied <laughs> a lot but whatever um Callan's world of fishing as what do you like better fishing or hunting I like hunting better all star jack 65 <coughs> gosh my third is like dry y'all that's the thing about when I make these Q&A videos my throat always goes dry but I'm almost done I think I would be, I'm like answering 63 questions, so, yeah. What was your first dirt bike? Alright, um, told y'all that. Lee Taylor asks, when are you going to put bigger tires and wheels and snorkel on your 300? <laughs> I'm not putting tires on it, I'm not putting wheels on it, because my mom and dad ain't gonna let me. Um, they don't want me spending that kind of money on it, they don't want to spend the money on it. My dad's like, you don't need to be spending money on something, or you don't need to be putting money into something that doesn't even, or that's not worth it or something like that. He's like... That floor is old, so you shouldn't be putting money into it, but like, I don't know. He really doesn't get it. So, and snorkel on your 300. Once again, he won't let me put a snorkel on the 300 because he thinks I'm gonna ruin the floor there. He thinks I'm gonna be like flooding it or whatever, or like going over the handlebars, but I'm not. So, I think that's stupid, too. The deepest I would go is freaking, like, racks deep. And that's, like, not deep. Like, you can freaking do that with a stock snorkel. But, yeah. Tanner Langinus or something like that. And this was your worst crash on your YZ85. And what? No. Uh, the worst crash is when I cracked my collarbone. <coughs> And what, and what the best position you've gotten in a race, <laughs> first place. Brandon, y'all should know this crap, like, I've gotten first place and videoed it. Like, what? <laughs> Alright, Brandon Malou or something like that said, sorry, I meant to say, do you have any racing quads? No, I don't. Honda... Uh, okay, okay. He said Honda 420. He was the one who asked, what's the um, best bike for a beginner? And he says, for someone that is 13, uh, 85 is the best, probably. Um, Noah Newman. What was your first dirt bike? Um, uh, I already answered that. <laughs> Colby Fowler asked, if you get a 4x4, four 4x4, four, four four, what would you like it to be size and make? Example, Honda. Probably the Can-Am Renegade 1000. So. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for all them questions. And now I'm about to go drink. <laughs> A lot of, or not a lot, but I'm about to drink a Dr. Pepper for sure. So, sorry it took forever to make this video. And see you guys in the next YouTube video. All my social media is down below. Check out my last video. And bye.